farmer's wife wakes up to mouse chewing on her eyeball as Aussie rodent plague destroys everything in its wake. A farmer's wife woke up at a mouse chewing on her eyeball as Australian rodent plague destroys everything in its wake. The woman was rushed to hospital after waking up horrified last week as tens of millions of rampaging mice torment communities across the country. She is one of the many victims of the outbreak being described as the worst in more than 30 years, the Times reported. Another farmer was fast asleep when he felt something small scuttling across his face. Mike Harris, who lives in Naramin, about 250 miles inland from Sydney, said, I felt a tickly fury sensation as it crawled from behind my ear across my cheek. It made my skin crawl. My hair stood up and I jumped out of bed. For the rest of the night, I didn't sleep a wink until I caught the mouse in a trap under the bed. And his wife experienced a similar horror. Weeks earlier when she felt something nibbling her wedding ring finger while she slept. Mick 35 added she was horrified we have got two young kids. It does make you worry that when they wake up crying it's because they have a mouse in their bed. There have been calls for the mouse plague to be declared a natural disaster. So frustrated Aussies can claim their insurance payout after a house was torched, cars were destroyed or Crops were left decimated. Horrific outbreaks stretch 1,000 kilometers from Brisbane to Melbourne and has been wreaking havoc for farming communities for nearly a year. As Australian winter sets in, home and car owners have been forced to deal with rats and mice looking for warmer places to live. The rodents have eaten through electrical wires which sparked a house in fire in Narrabri, New South Wales, while cars have been damaged. Mum of the three, Srilin Jackson, 31, who lives in Mandigari, NSW, said a swarm of rats and mice left her car damaged beyond repair in just one night. She told a current affair 10 grade worth of damage. I have woken up 5 o'clock in the morning to find the seat belt chewed and the heater unit flooring headrest and child's car seat chewed. It's just unreal in a matter of 10 hours. There have been calls for mouse plague to be declared a natural disaster so frustrated Aussies can claim insurance. Horrific outbreaks stretch 1000 kilometers from Brisbane to and have been wreaking havoc for farming communities for nearly a year. Mouse plague expert Steve Henry from the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization said, People are worn out from dealing with mice. They are running across your bed at night in the morning. You are clearing them out of the traps, he explained. Then you get your breakfast and cereal out of the cupboard and they have been mice there or they are still there. And then you get your breakfast cereal out of the cupboard and there have been mice there or they are still there. And then you go out the car and the car won't start because they have chewed through the electrical cables. Xavier Martin, Vice President of New South Wales Farmers Association, described trying to contain the problem as like trying to control COVID on a cruise ship. In just three months, two mice can spark a colony of almost 400 rapidly spawning to tens of thousands daily mall Australia reports. A mouse can live for up to two to three years and female can start reproducing in just six weeks of age. They can give birth to 10 babies every three weeks and the mom can get pregnant again the very next day. Experts have warned without a concerted battling effort in the next few weeks, this could easily turn to a two-year plague event. And in a desperate bid to stop the mouse menace, the NSW government has secured 5,000 liters of toxic rodent bromadines dubbed napalm for mice which is currently banned for agriculture use in the country but the state has offered to provide it for free if the australian pesticides and veterinary medicines authority approves it bromatilin kills rats and mice by preventing the blood from clotting and can be lethal for one day of eating the poison according to national pesticide information center announcing the measure as part of 50 million dollar package to curb the outbreak, Agriculture Minister Adam Marcel said the poison would be the equivalent of napalling mice across the affected regions. 
the mice are almost certainly descended from rodent stoans on British convict ships nearly 250 years ago. The common house mice is thought to have only appeared in the vast country in the wake of the arrival of the British First Fleet, which carried 750 convicts to Botany Bay in 1788. The scuttled through holes and cabins as the ships made their way to the other side of the world before the rodents then, then scuffled onto dry land with the new settlers. Thank you.